I think the whole point about a trip that we were lucky enough to embark on was that it was designed to show us how different life can be and therefore that there is no one way of doing things. Hi, I'm James Chow and this is The China Current where each week I bring you up close with fascinating people and stories shaping China and the world. I love music, especially Yehudi Menuhin, the violinist and conductor, and one of his students was Tasman Little, the British concert violinist who's known and loved all around the world. What many people don't know is that Tasman and Menuhin, student and teacher, went on a very special journey together in the early 1980s. I went to London where Tasman told me all about that. I feel so incredibly privileged that in 1982 I was part of a small group of students uh, from the Yehudi Menuhin School um, who went on a two-week visit to China. Yehudi Menuhin had already been several times and had fallen in love with China, fallen in love with the young music students that he'd heard there and wanted very much for us at the school to have an opportunity to experience something of the magic of China. It was something that I, I think really one of the most unique experiences of my life, simply from the timing point of view, because this was before many people uh, were able to even enter that country. When I visited Beijing and Shanghai, and of course in those days it was called Peking, the Temple of Heaven, Beihai Park, the Forbidden City of course. We went to the Chinese Opera, we had the Cultural Exchange in the, universe, in the Conservatories of Music, we heard young Chinese musicians play. It was so unwesternized and seemed in places a little bit haphazard, but then you would have these magnificent buildings and and they just looked quite stunning. And we were all, we just went around for about two weeks with our mouths wide open and our jaws on the ground. To a 17 year old, what did it do to you? It just fired up my imagination. It, it inspired me, I think is a simple answer. I was inspired. Just six years, six very short years before you arrived, that was the end of the Cultural Revolution. When you were there, were there any traces that a very different time had existed right before you had stepped in? One caught sight of um, some uh, real poverty. You know, we, you couldn't help but notice that there were some streets where, um, you know, people had very little clothing on and it was perfectly obvious that there was real real poverty and deprivation there but i think the whole point about a trip that we were lucky enough to embark on was that it was designed to show us how different life can be and therefore that there is no one way of doing things so i think that um yehudi's uh, idea behind the trip was not for us as Westerners to go and show everybody else how it's done. Far from it. It was to let us know that we might have been learning music in a certain way, but there are so many different ways of playing music. And I think that that was another um, important message that I, I received from this trip, that actually the Chinese musicians that we heard were amazing. They played in very different ways to the way that we played, but it was wonderful. And they played with depth and passion and love of the music. And I tell you something else that I absolutely remember. Something happened at a concert in China that I had up until that point never ever witnessed. And that was laughter in the concert hall. There was this one bit which was very funny, the music was funny, it was designed to promote a smile. More than that, it got belly laughter from the Chinese public who had no inhibitions, um, such as one would find in the West, no inhibitions whatsoever about overtly displaying their enjoyment of the music and I loved it. Yehudi Menuhin was also a peace facilitator. We live in a world and at a time which is disturbing, so what do we need? So it has got to surely be about us being able to let go of the sense that there is only one way of living in this life. It is about being open, it's about being tolerant, it's about being willing to be what Yehudi Menuhin was, an eternal student of life. Thank you very, very much. It's been a real pleasure.